Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my October favorites. I feel like I don't have a whole lot to show, but it's probably going to take me a long time. Anyways, because I just talk and talk and talk, so let me jump right in. The first thing I have is something that I've already talked about before, so I'm sorry I'm bringing it up again, but I just cannot deny this product. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer in Bronzed and Chic, and it is amazing. It looks like this right here. I can't believe how amazing it is, seeing as how it's only, I want to say like $10. Um, I really use the top two right up there the most. Um, it's weird because sometimes I see people much lighter than I am talk about using the bottom two for contouring and I think, wow, like I rarely use the bottom two for contouring. I use the top two for contouring, so that seems pretty intense, but it, it works. I love it. I would recommend it to anyone. The next up, I have something from Bare Minerals and it's their eyeshadow quad, their Ready Eyeshadow 4.0 in the dream sequence. Now, I don't know if they, if it's in there anymore, but it used to come in magazine advertisements like all the time, and the woman just looked so perfect. Her eyes were beautiful and purple, and they just looked amazing. So I had always thought about getting it, but then I thought, uh, oh, I, you know, I don't need it. But I think over the summer when they were doing one of their 20% off things, I went ahead and got it, and I'm so glad I did. This is what the quad looks like. Um, it is amazing. I will sometimes use, well here I'll do it like this, this, one, this shade right here which is called Romp. Um, and looks like that. It kind of reminds me of the, um, one of the colors in the silent treatment. You see how beautiful that is? I don't know if you can take a moment, it's so bright. Um, but that's probably my favorite, even though I love the purple, um, that, that's the purple right there, um, but that color romp, it's just amazing, it's this, it's a purpley metallic, and I just, I love it. What I'll do sometimes is use the matte plum shade as a crease, and then do, um, either the purple or the, um, romp color. Um, inside and then the white which is 500 thread count in the inner corner. I mean there are a million ways that you can do this and I, I love it. Um, next up, I might as well do this because it relates. It's another, ooh it's mirrored so it's like totally glaring in my eyes. It's another Bare Minerals palette. This one is all, it looks so nasty because of my fingerprints. Um, it's a Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow 8.0 in the Star Treatment and I, it looks like this right here. I really bought it mostly for this shade right here. This like antique gold kind of shade, which is called Connoisseur. Um, Connoisseur? Yeah, Connoisseur. Huh. Um, this is what it looks like. That one right there. It is amazing. I mean, what I found, it's that, well, obviously it's the gold one. What I found is that um, the Bare Minerals eyeshadows are just so incredibly creamy. I love them, and I mean, I bought it for that color, but really all of the colors are amazing. I especially also like, um, you wouldn't think that it would really be that impressive, but this brown, it's called Rich Green. It's right there, and it's just so smooth, and it, I mean, it reminds me of some of the shades in the Urban Decay Naked palette, and I suppose, you know, it would fit right in but it's just creamier than any other shadow I've tried. And now I have a great big mess. Um, sorry, I have to get baby wipes. Alright, um, next up, oddly enough, I have another Bare Minerals product. I know I'm like going overboard. And it's something that I've had for about a year, but I never used. Actually, it came in a Christmas... My, m I think my mom got me this. Um, it was like a Christmas package thing. It, I think it came with this like really hot pink blush that I wanted. Um, it's one of their loose shadows. I don't know if you can really see it. It's iridescent, but it's a, a pinky iridescent color. And it's called Panache. I love it because if I really have no idea what to, what to do with my eyes, I can use it all over and then just do like a crease color. I don't do that a whole lot. I usually have a really set look that I'm going for. But I love to use it in the inner corners. It really brightens things up. Um, it's just so vibrant without it being a color. The iridescence is incredible. So I would totally recommend that. 
Um, yeah, it is kind of not hard to work with, but it's harder to work with because it's loose um, in comparison to a pressed shadow. That's what it looks like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what makes it harder because it comes out. Um, but it's, it's worth it to me and it lasted obviously a long time. Um, next up I have the MAC Prep and Prime and it's just like a lip prep basically and it's a clear, it's almost like a balm in a way but I use it underneath my lipsticks like I'm using it today and um, it really gives you a good foundation. What I find is if I use another kind of balm um, it gives you too much slip. The MAC Prep and Prime, if you wait long enough it actually gets dry and it creates a perfect foundation for your lipstick. If you don't want it to be, if, if you don't need it to be like perfectly matte or anything, you can just, you know, put on the Prep and Prime, wait just a minute, and then put on your lipstick and it does help it stay. Um, that way you're not putting, my lips get really dry, so it helps to have something underneath. So I totally recommend that. Um, I'll go to another lip thing before I do what was just in my hand. Um, next I have the Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in Rosy Nude number 65. Um, I love this lipstick. Where am I going to put it? Right here. That is a gigantic swatch. I'm crazy. Um, I mean, it really is rosy nude. It's exactly what it says it is. Now, for me, nudes are always kind of weird to look for because my nude is a lot different from another person's nude because I'm so tan. Um, so I like that this is definitely a pinky nude, and it's not really, it's not as much nude as it goes towards brown, but it's not dark, it's just a perfect rosy nude. It's hard to describe it. I wish I had it on right now. Um, I, actually, I have on my eyes right now the, um, the dream sequence. I have, let me see, I have romp, and then I have the matte purple shade right there, so good job me for at least having one thing on. Um, next thing, which I do have this on too, is the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Liner Intense Liquid Eyeliner. And it's a felt tip eyeliner. I think I talked about this in 10 products I would repurchase, I can't remember. Um, and it just looks like that right there. I really like this. I think I like it um, mostly because it is such a such a black color. Um, there's no like doubt about it that your line is going to be super inky black and I love that. Um, next I have something that, you know, I know that some people are going to see this and be like, ew, I can't believe you like that, but I do like it. And it's the Maybelline the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. And um, it, the one looks like this if you haven't seen it yet. And um, it's kind of like bouncy. It has this like flexible tip. And I actually really like this mascara. Um, what I've heard other people say who like it is that they like it because they, um, usually it's people who have um, longer lashes or more substantial lashes. And I guess technically I do have pretty good lashes to start with, so maybe that's why I'm into it. But I think the main reason I like it is because I've been dealing with this disgustingness that I hate in my Project 10 pan. So in comparison, maybe that's why I love it so much, because I hate this one so much. It's the Buxom um, Mascara. I mean, that's really all of it says, Buxom Lash Mascara. Um, so maybe if I was trying it back to back with something that I also loved, I wouldn't love it as much, but I'm not sure. I really do like it. Um, I like that it uh, really grabs all of the lashes, and I feel like it gives them a good coat without it getting too clumpy. So I do like it. Sorry guys. Um, next up I have the Maybelline New York. Um, oh, it's the Fit Me Concealer. I can't really find the name. And I have it in 25 medium. And it just looks like that. Um, here's a swatch right here. And I really like this because it's a lot more, um, it's a lot closer to my skin tone than the, um, I think it's the Age Rewind that's in my Project Twin Pan that I'm I'm getting more and more sick of as I go. Um, I mean, it's still light, so I put it under my eyes and it really brightens, but I like that it's closer to my skin color, whereas the Age Rewind I find goes a little to the gray, and I don't like that. Um, next up goes in conjunction with that, 
what I've been using, and sorry that it's dirty, but it's the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Um, this is what I use for my concealer, and I love it. It's so soft, and just, it really gets in there. Um, yeah, I know it's a crease brush, so it's supposed to be for eyeshadow, but whatever, that's what I use it for. And then last up, I honestly, I'm not sure of the complete name, but I got it in my birch box. It's the Creme Hydrant, Hydrant, whatever. It says Ben to Berry. I don't know. If you have birch box, then you know what I mean. Or watch my birch box video and also know what I mean. Um, I'll try to put it in the, um, the box, the annotations, whatever. Um, it says hydrating cream, I think, in French. It says G1. And it's a moisturizer, but it makes my face super matte, which I have super oily skin, so it's fantastic. And when I use this, it the birch box came with two of them. I just don't oh here it is. Um, so you get these two little ones, and it's lasting me for a while. Um, when I use this, I don't have to use a primer, which is fantastic. So I don't know how much the full price, um, the full size costs, but I'm going to go on Birchbox probably right this second um, when I'm done and look it up because I'm interested in getting it. I have a lot of Birchbox points, so I could probably just use them to buy it. Anyway, so that's all of my stuff for the month of October. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't really fall in love with the whole lot just because I've been trying to use all of those Project 10 Pan products. So, like, I've been sticking to things that I don't actually love, I just need to get done with. Um, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. Uh, let me know if you want any information, um, any more information on these products. Um, and if you have any suggestions for what kind of videos I should do next, please let me know. It's hard to kind of like come up with these videos, especially because I don't have like a gigantic following telling me all the time or anything. So if you have any suggestions, please, please let me know. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.